I have been. Yeah. Okay, yeah. hold on. We need to let him know, yeah. Okay. Seconds. Yeah. All right, you're on. Okay, I'd like to have a motion to open the meeting at 7.38. So yeah. motion. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Vote unanimous. Aye. Okay, first up is, yeah, we'll get my you name, out of here. My name's Michael Crow. I am uh, looking to get sign-offs to uh, construct two houses on number 10 and number 11 Pecker Lane. Okay. I need the board's signature on my sign-in sheets for the uh, building inspector. Okay. Ready for the motion? Yep, make a motion. We need Make a motion. a motion to sign off on 10 and 11. Yes. Pecker Lane. Well, we're all familiar with the uh, We've been there. house lots, yeah. Okay. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, votes unanimous. Aye. Yep. Okay. Actually, it only needs one appointment. Chairman can do it, yeah. There you go. All set. Yeah. Have a good night. You too. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, nothing until 7.45 and then it's listed. We have, is everybody here for SD Way? Yes, I am. Okay. You, okay. All right. Well, we'll just take a break then until uh, 7.45, uh, five minutes. Uh, turn the Muzak on. <laughs> a little rock and roll, huh? maybe uh, ACDC, uh, <laughs> you know, Guns N' Roses. <laughs> Walt is going to be a half hour or so late.
Okay, I want to uh, do a continuance of the SD-Way um, subdivision. Motion to open the uh, meeting. Okay. Second. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Is, is the new engineer here from uh, Murray? Yes, Murray is here. Yeah, could you introduce yourself? And sure. My name is Brian Murray from Millennium Engineering. Go my fire. <laughs> oh, well, you're going to start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, okay. Thank you. Um, so we were last before you um, many weeks ago. We were scheduled to be before you on January 19th for continuation of the hearing. Uh, we appreciate your uh, indulgence in uh, allowing our continuance. We've been working with the Natural Heritage and Endangered Species Program to address a few concerns that they had with the project, uh, not so much concerns as issues they wanted to address with respect to uh, a portion of the site. We wanted to be sure that we had satisfied their concerns before we came back before the board in the event that there were plan modifications that resulted from those discussions. Indeed, there were plan modifications, relatively minor modifications, but modifications nonetheless, and so we have made those modifications. We've updated the plans accordingly. Uh, uh, Brian submitted the revised plans to Peter Williams um, late last week. Uh, my understanding is he's had an opportunity to review them, so uh, I'm going to give him an opportunity to present their changes to the plans. You can allow uh, Peter to, to give you an update on his review. There is a bit of additional correspondence that's been submitted, um, a letter uh, from Brian dated January 29th that summarizes these changes, a response letter from Peter dated January 31st. And I also believe that since we were last before you, you have a letter from the fire chief um, with whom I corresponded uh, earlier today just to confirm that there were no additional comments uh, or concerns of his. There are not. Um, the letter that he drafted dated January 18th indicates that per the requirements of the subdivision regulations we've conducted, a review of the subdivision plan submitted for an extension of Estes Way after reviewing said plans and the associated waiver request, we have no comments or changes to the plans as submitted to the board for approval. Uh, he does note in the next paragraph, there has been some discussion relative to the maintenance of cisterns in the subdivision. I would like to know what the plans are to keep full and clear of any obstructions at all times, similar to how we treat hydrants. And my understanding is that my client, and Brian can probably address this too, has been in discussions with DPW about uh, the ongoing maintenance. So. Uh, I'll allow Brian to introduce the changes to the, the project uh, since the last time we were before you and address any questions the board might have. Okay, thank you, Adam. Again, my name is Brian Murray from Millennium Engineering. Uh, just quickly, I also have revised plans with me. These would be what would be considered the final plans. Uh, these are based on uh, Peter's review uh, of our uh, January 29th submittal. Um, he had two comments on the, that submittal to him. We've revised the plans to incorporate those two comments, so I will submit them right after to the board and to Peter uh, as soon as I go through the uh, changes that are resulting on the uh, uh, subdivision. As Adam mentioned, we are making changes due to natural heritage, endangered species program. In general, the, uh, the changes all occur out into the back portion of the, of the site essentially lots five and six out here. What we had to do is uh, slightly adjust the property lines for five and six in this area uh, here. Can we, can we just yeah. kind of tilt that somehow some way so the camera picks okay. it up and yeah, also sure. it's good. Uh, it's people good. in the audience? They can see it up there. Yeah, yeah but we want to see it. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. You can see it on TV. Good. Is that good right there? Okay. All right. What you've seen before from this subdivision is essentially still there. What we have done is just modified some of the property lines out in the back here of the property, um, as well as we had to uh, revise some property lines of the abutting lots in here in order to maintain area on these lots. What's going on is we need to cr uh, create a migration corridor for an endangered turtle what the Natural Heritage and Endangered Species Program wants us to do is limit development in the back of the subdivision in this area here to allow the turtles to go back through undeveloped land. Uh, prior, these lots stuck out a little bit more up into this area over here, so we've reduced the back portion of the lot, widened it out a little bit here on it, and had to, in order to maintain area for the properties, we slightly adjusted the property lines for this lot in this lot in here, 
and as well as this one. And those are just very minor adjustments to the property lines in this area. Again, we're just looking to maintain the required uh, frontage and, and areas for uh, the lots and for this subdivision. As part of that, we also had to slightly adjust the septic, proposed septic locations for lots five and six out here. In this location here and in this location here. With these new property lines in here, we still have to maintain 10-foot offsets to property lines for septic systems, for septic fields, and such. Uh, maintain offsets from proposed wells for these lots. So we had to slightly move this um, uh, proposed septic field here and here. In order to make sure that there's still viable areas on it, we performed additional test pits uh, for these new locations on it. They all, the, the materials look good as part of the, uh, the, the test pits that were done. Uh, on it, so we believe they're viable uh, septic locations out here. And in essence, that's the, the majority of the changes. It all, they all occurred right in this area and right over in here, and then just slight adjustments to the property lines down there. Roadway stays the same, drainage stays the same, with the exception of we slightly adjusted this detention basin. This used to stick out a little bit more this way, so in order to try to maintain this corridor, pushed it up this way, tightened it up in this area. Uh, that required us to also do another test pit for to make sure that the soils underneath this infiltration basin are capable of supporting the design, and they are. We went in, did a test pit in there, found some really good material in here, particularly for infiltration basins. So from an engineering point of view, we think we've resolved the issue of trying to maintain this corridor through here. Just so everyone's aware, this property also extends farther out to the back here. This corridor is going to go along the entire portion of that back property on it. Um, that's about it for the changes. Can you uh, identify the proposed use area? Yeah, we're coming. Uh, you see this uh, shaded area right in here? That will be the easement area on it. We have it hatched all through here on it, going right down to here to the back here. So this in here will be all undeveloped land on it. And so what Brian means by that, and this is not necessarily a matter with which I suspect the board will be all that concerned, but it is something we are going to continue to work with Natural Heritage uh, about and we're required to, is Natural Heritage wants a restriction, a uh, conservation restriction of sorts uh, over the portion of property that they intend uh, or requiring that we preserve for the purposes of this migration. So. Uh, they have provided their standard form to us. We're in the process of reviewing that, and we'll be negotiating that with them. And ultimately, there'll be a, an easement plan uh, or restriction plan put on record with the Registry of Deeds, together with a written restriction that identifies the area that will be restricted in perpetuity um, to be undeveloped land. It was never, um, certainly the Boxford land was never an area that we intended to develop as part of the subdivision anyway, but now there'll be a permanent restriction on it per natural heritage. Will they be putting up the uh, granite markings with a little plaque on it? We ran into that problem on Stonebridge, and the people didn't look at their plan to see it was a natural uh, mitigation from the turtles and stuff. I know that, and, and I haven't, I, to be entirely honest, I just received the, the proposed form of easement a day ago from Natural Heritage, but I've worked with Natural Heritage and other projects in the past, and so I know their standard form, which has been updated a number of times over the years, does now include boundary markers. I don't believe it specifies that they need to be granite, but it does specify that there be some sort of marking to provide notice to anybody who might be in the general area that this is an area that's subject to a restriction. that I'll also provide uh, the board with uh, these are the latest and greatest plans that just respond to Peter's comments so it's over and above what we got the other day it's it's very similar to it but it does uh, two questions Peter had on it Maybe was I could explain it first yeah sure you like that? Yeah. I, I did go over the oops. Uh, uh, Peter Williams of GCA um, I did go over the plans and uh, I it was as I said it wasn't there's no real change to the roadway design in any way. It's just the rear septic systems and the drainage system and the lot lines that have changed to accommodate the easement. But I just saw that in, you know, uh, updating the plans that they had left off, uh, we initially asked in uh, the last set of revisions that provide a access gate 
put a fence around the detention basin and they left that off by accident. And I also felt that we, um, to be, uh, make sure that we got the proper soils within the detention area, that the plan clearly state that they have to remove all the unsuitable, well, the unsuitable and, and less than sandy soils between the bottom and the basin so that they get the infiltration that they're counting for on the design. Um, those basically two small details on the plans and I'm sure they probably have caught those on these revised plans, but we will check those. I guess my only other question would would uh, would the would you be providing copies of the easement to the board after it's finalized so that we have a clear understanding of the boundaries? Yeah, we'll, we'll provide the board with a copy of the final. We'll provide the board with a copy of the final restriction together with a restriction plan that'll go on record indicating the location. It'll be similar, if not identical, to the the hashed area here. But we'll provide both of those documents to the board once they're finalized and approved by Natural Heritage. Key thing, George, is every person you sell a house to, I want you to emphasize all the boundaries and the markers and what's there, because we ran into that before with a lot of neighbors that moved in and they didn't know anything about the no cut, no build, and they need to be explained personally. It'll be on their, um, it'll be on their plot plan. And a it's lot also of them didn't even look at that or read it. Well, it should be, it should run with the deed because, it, the, it is, you know, that that's the whole thing. And I mean, when they put it recorded after the, right. I mean, the, the challenge will be, it'll, it'll go to record as, um, prior to, I imagine the conveyance of even the first lot, but to the extent that it's encumbering one, two, three, four lots in the subdivision, it's not going to be in the chain of title necessarily to the other three lots. If you go back, it'll be in the chain of title to the large I'd parcel. I'd like to see a letter that they have to sign and purchase and sale and say that they've read that. And it is knew included. It. it is included in their purchase and sale. Okay. When they sign a purchase sale, there's a letter if they have restrictions on their lot saying so, and they do sign that. Yeah, and they I, were I told and they signed. Okay, I good. Well, we, we want a copy of it. We don't, we don't care which one. It, it should be the same for all of them. We, we would need a copy. The this, lots that are impacted. Correct? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. one of the problems was we, we had a developer who wanted to do something and we got to tell the first four homeowners, you know, that was going to be the situation. Yeah. Put it in their deeds after the fact. And we had a lot of problems. And we don't want to get back into that stuff whatsoever at all. Our, our other problem is going to be we haven't got the time to run down there and make sure everything's being done. So that if, if National Heritage is going to walk that land, they find something's up and all that, well, they can take them to task. But that's why we want it in the deed, and we'd like a copy of that deed. Okay? Yep. All right. Uh, Peter, the decision that uh, you emailed us and we have you, everything's uh, kosher from what I understand. Right, that's it. Um, I looked, I, you know, looked at the past decisions and uh, all the, you know, issues discussed during this. I think I captured everything. I certainly want the board to uh, double check my work. But yep, no, I, I read it. It looks good. I had one question. Uh, will the um, execution of the easement with natural heritage Endangered Species Program stop you from going forward with construction, or as long as you stay out of that area, you can go forward with the work? Brian, you can answer this, and correct me if I'm wrong. They have to sign off on our, our SWIP permit. That's, that's, that's correct. So we need, we need a stormwater per, uh, prevention permit, yeah. and in order for us to proceed with that permit, we have to, they have to approve the easement, and it needs to be recorded, and I believe that they look for um, proof that it's been recorded, book and page. That's correct. Prior to them signing off on the permit. Thank you. And when you do start, what's the build out time and how many houses do you plan on starting on? I don't have the answer on the houses, uh, but um, the road contractor and I have discussed a 60 day time period to get the binder on. Five years. Excuse me? No, you said 60, 60 days. days. Oh, 60 days. Okay. Yep. But completion, how many, what do you think? I anticipate between 18 and uh, 30 months. months. Um, okay.
I just want to state, um, in the interest of full disclosure, I, I spoke with uh, Peter over the course of the past few weeks relative to the waiver request. You might recall that the board had voted those requests at the last meeting. As we began to incorporate those waiver requests into the decision, I recognized two things. The first was that you might recall one of the waivers that was discussed with the board was this waiver that referenced the Massachusetts State Plane Coordinate System datum. And Taylor had explained that there's a requirement that NAD 83 be used, but the coordinate system that had been used in the plans was different. We talked about submitting the appropriate datum electronically to the town. Well, I went back to review each of these waivers as we were reviewing the decision and couldn't find that anywhere in your subdivision rules and regulations. Couldn't find any reference to the state plane coordinate system. And surely enough, it's not in there. Uh, I spoke with Taylor subsequently, and he s thought that maybe it was a carryover from a from a, a another town's plan that he had used as a as a form basis for the the waiver request. So we've deleted that request altogether from the uh, the list of of waivers that were included in the decision. I also identified, I think, three separate areas where there were incorrect section references. So the substance of the waiver that the board voted and we discussed was entirely correct, but the reference was wrong. So in one case, I think it was. 3.4.1.8, and the correct reference was 3.4.18. So I corrected those references just so there's there's a, a better ability to cross-reference what the decision says with your actual regulation. So the substance is the same. I don't think there's a need for the board to walk through those waivers again, but I just want that to be on the record that when the board votes the decision, it's voting them with those corrected waivers. Yep. Thanks. All right, so we need a motion to accept the... Uh, Decision. Okay, I can move. I will I need a motion to move to accept the decision. Uh, so motion. Second. And it's February second decision. Final decision. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All, those All those in favor say aye. 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 Signatures on it. Yep. Is there some form involved? No. What do you want to do? Are you going to go record the. You're yeah. going to do the mylar? Um, we have to sign. Ryan? Yeah, we'll do the mylars after the appeal period. Yeah. Oh, that's right. 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 Yeah. So, so we'll do that. We'll bring the mylars. This is the end of the That's, that's forgettable. You're going to need to record this at the town clerk, get a timestamp, and stop the appeal period. Right, so will you be recording that tomorrow? With the no, clerk? you will be. <laughs> yeah, that's why we'll sign it. Now. Right. Yeah, put it down there. Yeah. There is a date on the first page, but. Yeah, no date on this yeah. page. Check it all the oh, way. And just, just to let the board know yeah. that I did check to make sure they made those changes. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, that, that seemed like strange coming in. Boom. It was right after we got the other ones. Yeah. There was just okay. the timing, you know, fortunate. And I appreciate Peter's help in uh, getting yeah. that around quickly on it. Just, just so the abutters know that we got a complete set of pans plans just like you see over there came in a few days ago so that's um, what I put out here and then they're making other changes should we um, make a copy it's it's, it's, or sign two? it's relative to this national heritage yeah, you, know, you could forth, sign two uh, yeah. uh, you you got a copy too right yeah. Yeah. same one I yeah. had yeah I was surprised that in the beginning oh, that something like this didn't 
right. jump up because of you know that closeness to the Parker River, it's Peter. which yeah, is a river and isn't a river, but you know it's just it's, there had to be something down there that was going to become a problem. But well, the, the, surprise, the it took the, this long. All right, why don't, you, why don't you start over what you okay. were just saying. Okay. just said that we've been going back and forth with uh, MESA, the MESA review engineer, is that the correct uh, yeah, title? Yeah, I think that, that's that okay. correct, yeah. Feverishly over the past several weeks trying to come to an agreement on the easement area and trying to satisfy their requests versus, mm -hmm. um, you know, keeping the plan largely the same other than you know a few minor adjustments in order to satisfy their request for the easement area um, they sent a I, I believe a biologist down to to see if that if it was a salamander or a, or a turtle that existed I believe that they didn't find it but they said that this would be a good habitat for it if it ever did come through it would want a path to walk through the backyards of lot uh, I believe five, oh, six, seven, and eight. That's fine. And we just saw this one. Yeah, so what we're doing is one of the So you didn't really find turtles per se. I, I, I believe it's even the spotted salamander that they're concerned so about decide, potentially. Yeah. No blending turtles. Uh, uh, blending turtles was one of the things that they were looking for, but yeah. Yeah. I don't think they found any. But there was no mention of being within proximity of the That's Parker the River. Yeah. It was all about the the they put this land, I, I don't know how it is, how it's done, it's but. Really just related to migration, potential right. migration. I right. mean, not so much the habitat of the uh, endangered mm -hmm. species, it's allowing them to move. So these yeah. areas seem to be getting bigger and bigger. Well, that's that's the whole thing. We lost a huge part of the uh, town's industrial zone due to yeah. the blanding turtles. Yeah. Yeah. The state ended up buying it. Turtles so I, it kind of knocks our revenues down a little. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's Mr. Cook. I'm uh, William Cook at 10SD Way in Groveland. And, uh, so where are we in the process tonight? Where is, I'm hearing uh, appeals and stuff like that. There's an appeal period. Has this been signed off on tonight? Is this the final meeting? Because I, I'm still meeting with Mr. Hazelton here, and we've been talking back and forth, trying to set up a buffer zone and all that. We haven't come to a final agreement yet, and I want to make it part of the record. Uh, I've been speaking with, you know, Mr. Cook on giving him a buffer zone, I believe, on lot eight. Um, and um, we are, we've been going back and forth. Uh, I think I've given you the 20 feet that you've asked for. Um, we spoke today about how restrictive the language would be with the future customer in lot eight could do with that area there right now in our current agreement that we put forward it was a, a limit of cut zone so if someone had come in there and removed some of the trees they'd have to replace them with like kind coniferous trees um, so mr cook has asked me to consider something more restrictive and i explained to him that over the next few days I was going to discuss it, um, you know, with, you know, my engineer to see what, uh, what we could possibly do there. Um, and this is all, you know, by and large uh, regarding the, the fence that the cooks have that are, that, that's on the subdivision property that we're going to give them an exclusive use easement so they can maintain, you know, their fence. And I believe there's a small, is it a shed or a? Um, kids, kids pool. Kids pool. Yeah. So, um, my I'm confident that you know over the next few days you know we'll be able to um, come to agreement you know on something for them. So after you come to an agreement on this, you're going to do like a lot line change or? I'm not. I know I don't think we're going to do a lot line change. Easement. We're going to do more probably an easement 
script and and then record that and as then script. record that but right. that's going to be a private agreement between yeah. mr cook and i or I mean, sqa realty trust before before we walk out the door i just spoke to peter about a couple of blanks that i saw noticed in the decision maybe you noticed them too that ought to be completed before we record right. a copy. So the <laughs> amount, amount of bond money. The insurance. Well, one, one's the insurance, and the other is just a date for the previously approved subdivision plan. Uh, neither Peter nor I had the date that you approved the original preliminary subdivision plan that was submitted to you. Um, I don't know if you have that in your records. We can certainly find it and write it in before we record it yes. with the town clerk if we have your permission to do that. We just have to dig through our files to get it. But it's a matter of public record anyway. Mm -hmm. But the other condition is on page two, it's condition number eight, that just speaks to the amount of general liability insurance on the development, and there's a blank there as to right. what the That's sum. what I emailed you, I George. And I, I sent you a copy. Right, and then Denise got that, yes, for the million dollar yeah, indemnity. So it was one million dollars, so. One and two, I think it's uh, one million dollar each occurrence and two mm -hmm. million dollar aggregate. Yeah. Well, and that's been already uh, provided uh, to you. Yes. So if the board wishes to write in yeah. two million right aggregate, in the bond, uh, yeah. to write in two million aggregate there, that'll, and that'll then they have allow us to record it. He wants need, us to write in. You need dates on okay. that preliminary at all? Or? Uh, I, I do, but uh, it sounds as if I have the board's permission to write it in once we find it. I mean, it's just, it's it's less a, a substantive issue for the decision and more just to yeah, with the trail and show so the when we were last before the board for the approval. Jim, I don't have that date. Well, there were six dates, and the last one was 2 3 15. I haven't got it with me. What the amount? I imagine that's right. when we, so we accepted the and then uh, preliminary. Oh, two two million million that in as well. Okay. I mean, I can look through the minutes if you want and then call you. Why don't you just give me a phone number? You know, just write it down and I'll call you. Sure. So there's two lines on this. So the one line would be one million. It's just writing it out and then actually putting the dollar so amount next so to the symbol. So just one million, though. It's two, yeah. You can either write one million or two million aggregate because it's two million aggregate or one per occurrence. Okay. How do you do that? We moved on to other stuff, but I was still talking about my issue. And my issue is we haven't got, we haven't got, we don't have an agreement signed yet. And I know we're working together, and I think we can come up with an agreement. Uh, the concerns I have, and it's the same type of stuff you've seen with the planning board in the past, something that says no cut zone, a limited cut zone, means limited cut zone. So you know that 30 year old tree, if someone decides to cut it, they're going to go put a 10-foot tree up that I'm going to wait. I'll be dead by the time it ends up filling in that area again. So I'm trying to make it more of a no-disturb zone, and I'm also trying to control that area a little bit. As we know, we, and we've discussed this in the past, and you've seen it happen, some of these places that you don't have any control over end up having an issue later on, and, I, and, and we're all in here saying, well, why did that happen? If I have more control over it, then it won't happen. So that I, I just I, I you know I know you, this is pushing forward and it's happening, but I'd like to try to have this as part of the record before everything gets documented. That it's a piece of the a piece of the package here for the subdivision, okay. and 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 if and if this doesn't go go the way I believe it should, how long of an appeal time do I have to appeal this? Twenty one days. When we register it with the town okay. clerk, I mean, where are you guys on this thing? I mean, are you willing to leave something alone that's standing there right now? No, absolutely. Okay. You know, well, can you put that in writing to him? Yeah, okay. absolutely. I mean, again, I, in my defense, I 
you know, I, we were talking about it this morning. Yeah. And in my defense, over the past several months, um, I've been trying to get in touch with you several times, trying to push this forward, and I know that we're still working things out. So I, I haven't been ignoring the, the issue or been lackadaisical on it in any way whatsoever. Jim Spencer. Now that I think I have a semblance of what so, uh, Mr. Cook is yeah. willing to accept, yeah. I told him that in good faith that over the next oh. few days, I'm going to work with the engineer to to get this done for them, you know, because I do mm -hmm. want to make them as satisfied and comfortable as possible. Um, bear in mind, you know, I feel like I've I've stuck out the olive branch, and I really, I'm really trying to make this work. You know, the fact that we've got you know a uh, fence on our property and um, the buffer zone. I don't need to do, but I'm, I'm I'm working as hard as I can to make sure that I feel like. I just had the conversation this morning. I wasn't prepared. I wasn't even able to, to get the, you know, to work with my engineer today to get it done before the meeting because it was 8.30 or 9 o'clock in the morning when I was on the way to work. And um, But over the next few days, I'm going to work uh, hard to get them a draft of something that they can live with. Once that's done, once that's signed, that we'd like a copy of that as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, we, we've got one subdivision that's being built right now. It was approved back in 2008, <coughs> and uh, what was granted to the abutters was the 30 foot, no build, no cut zone. Okay, and recently the new developer gave another 10 feet, and you know, of course, it's just simply um, just to keep them kind of like off their backs and everything, and be the good neighbor and yep. everything. Not asking to do more, but if you know, if they, what do you want to do? Keep them mature trees. That's not hard to do. A yeah. Absolutely, and I so. said to him this morning that we we're going to look at putting mm -hmm. something more restrictive in place. I'm not willing to do a lot line adjustment and give him that land because I do think that it does serve a purpose for that lot, even if it's their own privacy from the cooks. Mm -hmm. um, but I am willing to do something more restrictive in nature that they feel comfortable with. Um, so, I mean, like I said, well, I just I, had this I'm conversation. I'm trying to make it where there is a 21 day ap appeal period, yep. and if that's not done within that time span, and the, you know, the, the, the thing starts again, you know, it comes back up. I understand. And it's, um, it seems like a real simple thing to do. Okay. I agree. Uh, just, just to elaborate on Homestead, that he was talking about the 30 foot, we actually made them do a covenant on that 30 foot and record that separately above and beyond the, the final decision for the subdivision. That could be done too, and I believe Taylor was involved in that to write that covenant for that 30 foot. Well, that, that, I mean, that, that largely is what's being discussed. And okay. you know, to, sort of, to sort of echo what, what Georgia said, we, we've been at this, and I understand it's been a difficult time of year for everyone. You know, we've been working on this through the holidays. We've had meetings with this board through the holidays, but we've been working on this. I, we had conversations outside this room on November 9th, and we, we were before you three meetings ago. Um, so we've been working on this. Uh, a, co a component of that agreement is to put an easement agreement together uh, that would formalize the, the, the interest that's being uh, being conveyed to the cook. So. All right, so it behooves you to finish that up before the 21 days because they'll appeal it. <laughs> it. It does. We've been working on it. We're, we're trying to get there. Yeah. I'll see if I can find that, that covenant that was filed at Homestead. I'll shoot you a copy of that when I uh, come up with the um, all right. Okay, um, any other questions at this point in time? No, they're going to file, uh, but after the appeal period, then Brian comes back with the bylaws, right? That's correct. Our intention at that time, too, is to provide the, um, I think we're going to a letter of credit and a certified amount by uh, Peter. So. Uh, I'm working with Millennium to get them the bids from the um, from the site guys, road guys, have them certify it, do their own calculations. Peter obviously is going to uh, look at that and approve it, adjust it and approve it as necessary. And then hopefully by the time we come in to sign the Mylars, uh, we'll have that ready for you at that meeting. Okay. Make sure we get a copy of that estimate, too, on all the individual. I would assume that once, as soon as Peter signs off on it, that he's going to send you a copy for review. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's up to me, of course. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. absolutely, absolutely. Do we know the date uh, that that might be, that meeting would be at? We're meeting on the first and third Tuesdays of each month, so our next meeting will be the uh, third Tuesday of this month, and then. So we, the, the appeal period will uh, will not have passed by the third Tuesday of this month due to right. the constitution right. today, but the first Tuesday of March would be March first, and the appeal period will have passed by that date if we make our if we make our filing uh, with the town clerk. If everything's tomorrow. kosher. Give me a call uh, before the weekend so I can post it. And okay. She's not open on Friday, so. Right. Mm -hmm. So we made a motion to close the hearing. Or? Okay. Motion to close the hearing. Seconded. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Vote is unanimous. Yep. Hearing closed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All the fun. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Hearing is closed. Okay. That's all? And you get all the new plans stamped with the new guy? And you get a full briefing as to why Taylor's not here? No? Okay, so when's that going to happen? That's so funny. Is this in the background? We signed <laughs> off on two homes on Pekka. No, I mean, why is everybody laughing? No, uh, No, I mean, the, on the, uh, who stamped the plans? Uh, Millennium, Chris York from Millennium. Chris yeah, York? Okay. So, um, and why was, why is Taylor not here? Taylor no longer works for Millennium. Right, got that, but why? <laughs> why? It's, 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 it's personal. Don't, don't matters, bring it up. Oh. Uh, okay. So, so who took over the plans? Chris? Chris and I are working on it. Yeah, Brian. Okay. Brian. Yeah, Brian. Brian's, okay. Sir. Brian's done a lot of um, Brian's done a lot of work for the town. You're working. Yeah, I've worked for Millennium. I have in the past done work on the municipal projects in the town. Work on the town. Okay. And, and many other towns in the area. Okay. So you closed the hearing. We yeah. didn't vote on the on this, did you? We voted in the final decision. Yeah. It's going to so be it? put up for the. Uh, you got a copy in front of you. No, I got nothing. So. So you voted in the full decision? Yes. Okay. Everything's okay. done. Um, all right. Be, uh, so if I have questions theory. and editorials, I'll submit them. Um, well, Day late and dollar short. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, you, you know, it, it's almost 8.30. We started this thing at 7.35. Yeah. Right? So, you know. Okay. All right, well, I'll submit my, my questions and feedback because I do have questions. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, so there's nothing else uh, on the agenda. How are you? <laughs> Good night. <laughs> All right. Uh, low, uh, to adjourn. And next well, meeting. Well, no, no, I got, I got, I got, oh, you got more? I got minutes. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, I have two sets of minutes to approve. First one. Who's is briefcase, Peter? That's not yours, is it? Uh, that's probably Brian. He oh. still has a board here. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you. Got the minutes of January 12th and the minutes of January 19th to approve. Need a motion and a second. So motion. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Unanimous. Uh, we have one nineteen and one twelve. Okay, uh, anything else to come before the meeting tonight? Now, we did not hear from uh, across the street, correct? Right, they didn't come in. They did not come in, okay. Can you say Pekka Lane for A&Is? 
two homes, yes. Yeah. Is that uh, ended up buying them off of uh, the uh, Ogden and uh, Wiley one? Who, who did them? The same guys as before? I forget his name. But he signed in there. Crow. Last name's Crow. Michael Crow. Yeah, I think, he's a, I think he's a builder in Georgetown. From Georgetown. And did they complete everything on, on that street, Bob? Remember they were going to do the... Yeah. That's good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all paved. All right, any, anything else before the board tonight? Uh, uh, what, Knight was going to come in with an amended plan, correct? No, uh, I met with him with the mylaws, and uh, come to find out his uh, engineer didn't draw the line properly for that excess land. So now he's going to set up a, another appointment with us for a new mylaw showing the driveways and also showing the proper line for that excess land at the top of his property. So he'll be back in later on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're still waiting for Sunset Circle to bring his recorded plans in. I emailed him his bond for 514000 that he's working on. We also never got back the MOD on that, right? The filing. Right, he's going to record everything. All right, now, I cannot find uh, SD Parks recorded an MOD. I had a copy, you know, from the town clerk, but I don't have the recorded one. I think that's. So, I mean, that's. You're talking Eric Hopper, the one? Yeah. Or? Yeah. yeah. Harper and um, Sunset Circle. All right. Anything else to come before the board tonight? Yeah. What, what else is covered um, other than this on the on this uh, subdivision? Well, just the sign off on the two lots on Pecker Lane. Yeah. No. I mean, what was different on this one? Well, it's basically the um, it's National Heritage wanted a access way yeah. for the turtles. From what do they call it? Uh, yeah, migration corridor for corridor, turtles right. and salamanders. Yeah, I saw that in the. But in the, the reality is they didn't even find any, but they think there may be some back there. Back yeah. there, and they may so they need add that. So they added that. That's that was it. In the la the land that's over in Boxford, um, on the back side of that, where is that going? Do you ever figure that out? Where does it go? No, I mean, what are they going to do with it? I don't know. It's Boxford. I mean, I, I think there's a circle back there that there were houses back in Boxford near there. So yeah. they may come in off of that circle. Now, yeah. did they cut off this parcel and leave that piece in, in Boxford, or is this a still, still a two-town? Because if it's still on two town, they need two town approval. No, it's only it's in Groveland only. Right, but did they um, did they cut the land off? Yeah, I think that's what he told us. That's what I was trying. Yeah, should it should plan. show. Yeah, because I, I asked them what they were doing with it, but I didn't get a real answer on that. Maybe they didn't know at the time I asked them. Yeah. Yeah, this piece here. Boxer. Ready for a motion to close one. Yeah. There's no, um, it still shows it in here, so are they going to go to Boxford? I think that's what they intended all along. Okay, to go to Boxford and get their <coughs> approval? Yep. Okay.
And these these are the waivers we approved last time, right? Yes. Yes. Hey Bob, how is the uh, six inches holding up on the roads? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Because I remember remember we were going to go to seven at one time. What are you talking about? Hot tub? Yeah. yeah. Are you crazy? <laughs> this is your idea. Five inches is plenty. Yeah. It's the base. Bob, that's the most important right. thing. Right, right. The gravel base. Bob knows Oh, I got that. It was your idea. <laughs> no, that's the big thing. Is no, the I've, gravel. I've never pushed six or seven inches on top. You, get, you get six here. And I don't know how that got in there. Five is enough. Two and three. As long as you got 20 inches of gravel. Yeah. So I that's hear, holding I, up. I hear he's putting 40 yeah. inches of gravel yeah. in Elm Park <laughs> when, when, when he do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so six, and eight. six inches especially is plenty as long as I get the eight and uh, 12 of gravel. Oh. Is there a fire road on the way out of there on the back side? And did we ever get the fire chief approved? We got the letter from the fire chief, yeah. yes. We he got wants the, it. It he says he shall it. sign off, but I don't see it. He wants it treated as a hydrant. He, he wants the what? He wants that cistern treated like a oh, hydrant. Oh, like a hydrant. Okay. Yeah, you know, it. clean the snow in front yeah, of yeah. it. Which I went over it with him one day. So. Okay. That'll so be the got, second one in did town. Did he submit that letter here? Yeah, they had one too. They had a copy. I asked Jim to look at his. Did you ever look at your email? No, I, I never got an email on that. Yeah. I didn't. I so mean, the fire chief did send a letter and sign yes. off? That's what yeah, he said. Yeah, I met with him on something else for, for my place, for the uh, highway garage. And he says, Oh, I already sent that over. And he told me, he says, I wanted it treated like a hydrant. Yeah. So no, what we got to. That makes total sense. I was just wondering like if we got to do, it. I'd like to see them put that, uh, the, the uh, Siamese, the uh, suction tube, closer to the sidewalk oh. than the other one, the one that's existing on SD Lane. Yep. A little closer. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, shall we require sidewalk to the sidewalk? Well, that's something you could do in the field. Okay. And yeah, we only wave the sidewalk on that little, little section here. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Thank you. And then they're going to put the sidewalk in all the way up on the other side, right? Right. Okay. I mean, right out to uh, Can you follow up, there, right? up, Bobby, with the fire chief on that letter? I mean, if, yeah. he, if he saved it, I mean, he should be oh, able yeah. to Oh, yeah. I'm going to see him anyway this okay. week. Okay. All right. He, because we're doing some, something else. Yeah. Though. I'm trying to get this zoning bylaw finally ready to hold a hearing because it's just moved on a little bit too long at this point as far as I'm concerned. But... Um, all right, let's close the hearing. Okay. Make a motion to close the meeting. So motion. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, vote to remain aye. We're dead. Jim, this is a copy. Oh, sir. This is a signed copy. Are you ready to go off? Yeah. Yeah. The, um, All right. That's a signed copy for us. You know. All right, now what about the one?